Um, and one of the benefits uh, of this is just the fact that uh, the majority of the length of the scope being rigid just allows for uh, a lot more uh, true movements of the hand. Um, it does take some getting used to, but only about one or two cases uh, probably. Uh, I found the movement of the scope to be very similar to the standard scope where you're vertical, uh, whereas this is just your hand is horizontal. Um, I found that the movements were, were not too different uh, than what you would expect inside the body based on what your hand is doing and found it very easy to actually learn how to use. Uh, one of the additional benefits too is that, as you can tell, there are many different uh, uh, channels within the scope, uh, which is quite a contrast to most of the scopes that we use. Otherwise, uh, there's a 3.6 French uh, working channel. There's a one, another 1 1.65 working channel. Uh, there's, the in, there's the inflow and there's also an outflow, which I think is um, significantly beneficial uh, because there is a trend nowadays to move towards sheathless ureteroscopy uh, out of the uh, risk of hurting the ureter with different sheaths. And if they don't have a stent in already, what that can do if you try to force the sheath up. Uh, the fact that there is an outflow built into it allows for uh, flow within the kidney without having to have a sheath up, which I think is um, more or less of a, of a game changer. It allows you to kind of behave like you have a sheath up without actually having a sheath up. It saves on disposable costs. Um, and it also just allows for good inflow and outflow during a case if you choose to dust. Uh, one additional benefit is the fact that since it's designed mostly like a semi-rigid ureter scope with a flexible tip is that it can be used uh, really to replace both a semi-rigid scope and uh, a flexible scope in the, in the same case. Uh, for example, if you have a one centimeter or five millimeter distal or mid ureteral stone in addition to other kidney stones you know really you can just go straight to this scope right from the beginning uh, you don't have to do a rigid scope with a, you know a camera and a light cord and then take that down and then do a ureter scope which might be a whole separate system with lots of cords this is you plug it in you have one scope that does both the ureteral stone and the kidney stone uh, really with ease. Uh, the ureteral stones that I've treated with this really to, to my hand were, were no different than using a standard rigid ureter scope. Uh, the fact that the tip is flexible, you don't really notice that much of a difference when you're in the ureter. Uh, so I, I really found that it almost replaces the um, rigid ureter scope, or at least I have not found a, a case yet where I, I took this out and put a rigid scope in, uh, realizing the limitations of this, which I haven't encountered yet. Richard Wolf. Spirit of Excellence.